Hello! I would like to present you a very special and very powerful didgeridoo named Moitze, also known as the Stinky Room Didge. It is called so because it was played in the Stinky Room song, but also in many other of my uh, well-known songs. And uh, it has stayed with me for many years. Um, it stayed with me because it was my best teacher, probably. It has a great punch. It has great possibility to articulate, so it's very precise. It has a very melodic air code. It is very versatile. It is very loud. It's very easy to play. It has come to all of the didgeridoo festivals in Europe, at least, and it has played as a solo instrument, usually Saturday night, and um, it has played songs that became well known. So I played it solo, I played it with a band, I tested it in every possible way. Um, and so, because you're, you know that I'm not into hype, I want to explain why this didgeridoo stayed with me for so long. Now, when I can choose pretty much whatever didgeridoo I want. So one of the reasons why it stayed with me is because of this basic, primitive, punch that it has. It just has this raw power. And um, it, it is so because it has the right configuration of harmonics, especially the lower uh, harmonics. And when you play this uh, sound with, with this strongly shaped push in the right sound system, the audience will always feel it in the stomach and in the chest. You will not feel it on the laptop speakers, of course, but when the situation is right, this didgeridoo is deep enough and it has the right sound to move the audience. For example, in the beginning of the Stinky Room song. But the punch alone would not be a uh, argument good enough for it to stay with me all these years. Uh, what this didgeridoo has is the quality of the sound. It has really well balanced spectrum and it allows for very versatile playing. Like you can play really really soft and really relaxing or you can play really powerful. So if you're playing meditations or some relaxation um, sound journeys, you can easily use this didgeridoo. Moitze has very good relation between bass and mid frequencies. It doesn't have too much bass, but it has just enough to have the punch, but not too much, so you can play really complex articulations on it and everything will come out of the tube very well defined. So, for example, the beginning of Lake of Awareness song, um, I really try to put in a lot of tongue movements, push pulls, and everything goes around itself. And somehow it comes out in a very detailed form. <laughs> But that also would not be enough. I ask from a didgeridoo to be melodic and, if possible, good for air code playing. And uh, Moitz is great for air code playing, and we can see that, hear that actually in the in the last part of Lake of Awareness, where um, we go into totally different realm, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Um, that 
be enough for me to stay with the ditch for so long. Uh, so this didgeridoo has other qualities as well and one of it is loudness. It is quite loud for a C didgeridoo and I used to play it in the streets. But also uh, on stage it's important to have a loud didgeridoo because the louder the didgeridoo is, the less gain you need on the mic. And the less gain you have on the mic, the less there is, the less there is chance for uh, feedback. Also, this didgeridoo is very easy to play and it has a very good balance of what it can do. And because of that it was probably my best didgeridoo teacher. And with it I realized the relation between body movements and breathing. And through that experience I created uh, 10 push-pull exercises which are the fundamental of didgeridoo playing to realize how body is working and what body can do while it's um, breathing in. So in a simple uh, example of those exercises they would uh, sound like this. somehow opened my awareness to that and it proved to be a great supporter uh, to play that. As all of our instruments, Moitz is also one piece. It's made from hard wood and um, it has never been split, it doesn't have any visible joints and the consequence of hard wood is that it's loud and it's present. This means that it has high frequency content and because it has high frequency content uh, it doesn't take too much headroom in the mix, but also if you have a solo recording, it fills the complete spectrum. So I feel that this didgeridoo is uniquely tested in the didgeridoo market, uh, because it has played all these big festivals, usually at Saturday night, and it didn't have support of any other instruments, nose mics, clapsticks, uh, effects, it was uh, relying on its versatility and sound. Actually, I was relying on its versatility and sound. And all of that was accepted by the audience in the times when didgeridoo players, uh, solo didgeridoo players were almost extinct. So it really had to satisfy a high demand of quality. Um, even if you cannot test this didgeridoo yourself because you are getting it online, it has already be been testing also by buying this didgeridoo, you support me, my work, my family, uh, you don't make me uh, become an ice cream seller and I can keep um, giving high quality content in forms of articles, in forms of tutorials and uh, in this way the circle is somehow closed. Also you're getting yourself a pretty good didgeridoo that can really help you to develop. And uh, in either case, I wish you good spiraling out and keep growing. <laughs>